Hi everyone, my name is David and I'm going to be showing you a few tutorials here about how to use FileMaker Pro. And uh, we're going to start by creating a new database. And we're going to call it Real Simple Database. All right, And we're going to save it on the desktop. Now this is the first dialog you're going to get. It's called the Manage Database Dialog, and it has three tabs. We have the Tables tab, the Fields tab, and the Relationships tab. So we're going to start in the Tables tab. And by default, FileMaker is going to create the first table and give it the name of your file. So let's go ahead and rename this table, and let's call it Contacts. And we'll click Change. Now, what is a table? Well, if you look at uh, comparison, for example, an Excel file, the file itself would be the database, and the spreadsheets in the Excel file would be tables. So you can have multiple spreadsheets per file, and it's the same concept with FileMaker. You're basically storing in each different table a different set of records. So we could have a contacts table, a, a companies table, um, an orders table and things of that nature. So let's start with this contacts table and I'm going to double click it which is going to take us to the fields tab and FileMaker needs a way to know that each record is different from one another. Now how do we do that? You might be thinking well each contact has a different name right? That's correct but that's not going to work because what if, for example, you have two contacts with the same name, Joe Blow? You're stuck there, and FileMaker will have trouble connecting that information with other information in other tables. So what you're going to do is add what's called a primary key, and that's a really fancy word that just means a unique field that never has the same value as any other record. So for example, I just created a field called uh, contact ID and it's a number field and uh, go ahead and click create and this is going to be a serial number which is a number that increments it goes up one value every time a new record is created well how do I set that up I'm gonna double click this field and I get a new dialog and all I have to do is check this box and what this does is every time a new record is created it's going to assign this value and when the next record is created it's going to raise this number by this much and I'm going to hit OK alright so now I can add my other fields and we'll change this to a text field and click change Alright, so now I've got seven fields here. And you notice that I'm using an underscore as a separator. And the reason why is you don't want to use spaces or special characters. For example, this would be a horrible name for a field. Or We want to stay away from these kind of names and these characters because in other databases those names would be invalid. So if you ever wanted to import or export information, you would be stuck with having to manually input it yourself. So let's go ahead and delete these fields. Okay, great. So here we have our contacts table. Now, let's say that we handle uh, many companies and we want to assign multiple contacts to one company. This is called a relationship. Now, in order to do that, we have to create a companies table. So let's go ahead and give it a name and, and click create. And we're going to double click this new table and we're going to create an ID for it as well, a primary key.
Okay, great. Now we have to set it to be a serial number. And what do we want to know about this company? It has a name. What else? Maybe it has a phone number. A website. Okay. 